uh, Q&A webinars that we've ever had because we're going to address two of the most, um, you know, two of the most important aspects of trading, and that is the first part, why you're getting in, and then the second part we're going to address is really going to be helpful to every single person. I'm going to show you something that every single one of you is going to need if you ever invest. And uh, we have it, and the question is, how bad do you want it? So, again, super exciting stuff happening today. Again, tons of subscribers here, so we're going to keep the sales uh, information much less uh, prominent, although, again, all the links and the, um, all of the uh, tutorials and codes are going to be there uh, when um, we take a break between myself and Brad. Now, Brad Williams, who's our uh, chief operating officer and one of the smartest and best, most uh, tactical and proficient users of trade ideas, much more so than me, um, is going to do the first part of the presentation, which is going to be part of how do you really find this excellent move? And we're going to be talking about this specifically from your point of view, from the customer's point of view. Um, so let's, uh, let's jump right in. Brad, do you want to get going? Then I'll move the presentation forward. You bet. Let me, uh, let me share my screen right here. Okay. So what I want to do, before I actually get into uh, uh, to showing you some of the setups and how we find that in trade ideas, I want to give you just a very brief overview of the technology for the people that are joining us today that are not subscribers of trade ideas. So trade ideas, we're an idea generation uh, service and provider. We're a technology provider that looks at every single tick of every stock in the market. You'll need to uh, do share your screen. You need yeah. to share your screen there. Yeah, your screen I think Graham was the presenter, and then, uh, yeah. All right. Sorry about that. But I like the enthusiasm. That doesn't change anything I was saying. That's right. Now, can you guys see my screen right now? Yeah, in the chat room, please say yes or no if you can see it. And by the way, Brad and I will intermingle if need be. Perfect. All right. So what I have up here on my desktop in the upper left-hand corner is our flagship application, Trade Ideas Pro. And as I was saying, uh, our very sophisticated server farm is listening to every single tick of every stock in the marketplace, which allows us to do some very unique things. We keep statistical baselines on every single stock so we know what's normal and abnormal behavior in the marketplace. And that really allows us to deliver right to you through this application very actionable ideas uh, that you can just click on, pull up in a chart, uh, make a trading decision very, very quickly, uh, and act upon that information. Uh, what I'm, what I'm showing you right here, Trade Ideas Pro, is one of our channels. And we've, one of the most recent iterations of our software has included this channel bar uh, that's available over here on the right-hand side. And the channel bar is great for new users and experienced users alike. Really what it allows you to do is take a very, very quick view of the market, um, different themes of the market, without having to be a professional and an experienced user of trade ideas. Uh, everything in our software is fully configurable and customizable. So while we're giving you these 20 different views of the market, whether you're looking for stocks that are moving up very fast on high volume or being talked about more than normal on social media, you can really drill right into that theme right by clicking on one of the, the channels that we have over here in the channel bar. Very quickly, I can move right over into the uh, beaten up area uh, where I'm looking at stocks that are down tremendously, not only today, but over a variety of uh, time periods. And I could you know, look right at the inverse of that, looking at stocks that are uh, up on a variety of different time periods. And through the use of our top lists and our alert window and multi-strategy window, you can really drill into uh, what's moving and, and what's actionable at this time. This is a, an example of a biggest gainer's top list here where it's delivering me uh, symbols that have moved really strongly today and I could take that list of stocks and I could sort it on relative volume which is one of our more interesting data points so I can see stocks that are uh, making these large moves on volume for instance. Uh, but we have all these different themes here to take a look at not only uh, to generate the ideas but also to see how we've configured things and uh, it's really kind of a snapshot into uh, the way that you combine alerts and filters together to create strategies. Um, every one of our windows uh, has a right-click uh, context-sensitive menu, and if you go into it and select configure, 
you can really kind of open up that window and see exactly how we put it together. What filters did we use? What alerts did we use if it's an alert window? What sort order are we using? All those different variables come together to make a strategy. And that's what we've done for you in a variety of iterations here uh, on the channel bar. Let me go ahead and uh, bring up our presentation because what I want to do is I want to talk uh, specifically about uh, a question that I had this morning. And it, you know, I listened to, I get all these different support requests and in doing so, uh, it allows me to bring uh, some great ideas to the, to the Q&A session. Uh, Dan and I are going to talk for about a half hour, maybe a little bit more on some different ideas here, but we're going to save the last half of this um, webinar, if you will, uh, open to you guys for questions, and Dan and I will uh, take the questions that are unanswered and um, do the best that we can to uh, clear up any confusion. But this is a, uh, a question that I had today. You know, this is a stock uh, that made a move yesterday, and this is a, a Jivo, and it made an incredible move midday, right? It, so the beginning part of the day up until about 1035 West Coast time was really just another typical day for this stock. And it just automatically, you know, just lit up. And not only did it light up from the price action perspective, but it also did it so from a volume perspective. And when these two characteristics come together, it really kind of, it's, it's like hitting trade ideas in the sweet spot. It's, you know, we can find this stuff very, very regularly and uh, very efficiently. So let me show you uh, a couple different ways that we can take a look at a chart like this and then kind of backtrack into creating an alert window or a top list or a strategy, if you will, that will find not only this type of move, but other stocks that are doing uh, similar uh, price action movement. So let's, uh, let's start off by, I want to show you guys something that we have. It's uh, called the Stocks Like This webpage. It's a free service that we offer. And what it really allows you to do is kind of take a peek into our server farm and look at uh, the filter values and the alerts that would have generated on a particular stock during a particular time range. So let, let's just do it here. I'm going to go to our, our homepage, trade-ideas.com. I'm going to support. And now I'm going to select the Stocks Like This option. And this is where you would type in the symbol, the time that you want it to analyze. I think I already did it right here. So type in the symbol, the, the date, the time, and the duration. Uh, the duration is really, a, a, that, like I said, a snapshot. This is going to be a five-minute time period starting at uh, 1335, 135 uh, Eastern time. And what I'm presented with when I hit submit is a list of all the alerts and the number of times they actually triggered during that five minute span. So a lot of information here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it down in a little bit so don't get too confused here, but these are all the alerts that generated. And if I scroll down, I can see all the filters that we have inside of Trade Ideas and the minimum and max values for those filters during that time period. Really what this allows me to do is take a look at a particular stock at a time and see which filters were meaningful and impactful so that I could backtrack into a strategy. Um, this is not what I use. I use the application. Uh, so for those of you that have access to the application, it's a much more robust way to do it. Uh, let me go ahead and just close some windows. Before I do that, I'm going to pull up the search channel again real quick because honestly I thought uh, that that symbol should have appeared here uh, in the strongest of the highs or the high volume movers uh, area, but it did not. And I had to really do this exercise myself to figure out why and then created a window that uh, would find these types of moves. Uh, so didn't appear here, unfortunately, and that's the whole reason for the exercise. So let me go ahead and kind of simplify the screen here. I'm going to just remove those windows and uh, I actually built it already, and for the sake of time, I'm just going to bring it bring it over. But it's a super simple window. I'm going to go in and I'm going to right click so you can see what I did to build it. Um, really, there, I don't really even need any filter settings here. I just have a couple of alert triggers, and I assign that to a symbol list. And the symbol list is really just a single symbol uh, for this stock. And I'm going to use uh, a variety of different columns to let me know some of those data points. And what I'm really interested in here is you know, when I look at the chart, let me, let me pull up this chart for it. Look at a couple days. So when I look at this right here, I just see normal behavior and I see tremendous volume. I see as it's making this move, 
these are really stock, it's a stock making new highs throughout the day, all through that move and then all through here. So if I just consider that my alert trigger, I'm going to get most of these moves in this window right here. But I did add a few more. Um, for instance, running up is going to give me a value, five minute high, and I have a crossing. So once I do that, I'm really just going to make sure that I have the various columns that I want to look at. Volume is the catalyst. And I'm going to run a history. I didn't really make any changes, so I don't have OK. But in running a history uh, for this particular day, this is yesterday, and looking at the time frame that this move took place right here, I'm right here in the history. And in doing so, I can take a look at what the price was at that time. I can take a look at all the other filter values as well, change from the close on a percentage and a dollar basis. So when it started making this move here, about three, it was up more than 3% for the day. Now this is the real key relative volume, which in my opinion is one of our best filters that we have. But here is a case where it kind of failed us uh, simply because this, I want to catch this move when it's just happening, uh, not when it's kind of matured into the move. And this is telling me that when it just started this move right here, the stock was only trading 40% uh, of its normal trading volume. So it was a, really a low volume trading stock at that point of the move. But there's some other characteristics that really stand out. And if you notice that I brought in the volume one minute and the volume five minute um, filter values here. And this is really looking at the, the one minute volume bar uh, on a percentage basis to normal. And this is 3000% of normal, 800% of normal. Um, just a minute later and only a few cents later, this stock is doing 4,000 times uh, its normal volume on the one minute chart and over 1,000 times on the five minute. So to me, knowing the software and knowing the way stocks trade, this is very, very significant. And if I just use a stock making a new high and I do it with stock that has incredible volume on the one minute and five minute, I'm gonna have a, a window. It's not only gonna catch Jivo, but it's gonna catch a variety of other moves as well. And, uh, this is the window that I put together, and then we'll, we'll take a look at some of the results. But it's pretty simple, really. It's a new high window. Well, let's go to the summary tab. It's a little easier to look at how it's configured. But I'm looking for a new high trigger com compounded with these particular filters. I want the stock to have at least traded 300,000 shares today. Um, and I'm doing that for a variety of reasons. I want this stock to be lit up. I want it to have so much volume that uh, it's just doing so much more than normal. Brad, if you can pause for just one second, I just want to pause because, because again, you're going over something so important, and everybody who's listening and watching, I mean, notice that we go. This is a theme that we do all the time. Instead of trying to look at stock moves through words like MACD and RSI, which you've been taught, unfortunately, by people who didn't have access to technology and large number crunching. We kind of do exactly what Brad is doing here and work backwards from what you want to see. And its description is much more eloquent than simple, you know, numbers that were invented by people in the 70s or earlier. And that's why, um, as Brad's showing you how you start this with the one. And again, I just, it's the, the ability to simply start with the one stock, find it when you want it to find it, and then look how it translates into the many. And that's a powerful tool that's kind of simple, but we use it all the time. And I just wanted, didn't want you guys to misunderstand how important it is uh, that, you, that this is such an incredible path to finding any kind of move that you like. So, Brad, I mean, I was just really right, you're, you're, saying. you're so right, Dan. It's, a, it's really one of the key things and one of the misnomers of trade ideas. I mean, this is such a complex piece of software that you can do so much with, but you'd be surprised what you can do uh, with our software from a very simplistic approach. And uh, because we're doing all the heavy lifting in our servers, you know, we know what's abnormal stuff. And, and just by utilizing these two volume filters, it's going to deliver a window like this right here, where it's not just GEVO, but it's delivering a lot of other stocks as well. And um, let me pull something up here. So this is VLTC right here, um, something that came through this window that we just uh, put together. And, you know, again, look at the setup. This is 
really a carbon copy of what we were just looking at before, only it started at the beginning of the market today. Incredible volume numbers. And when you break it down and you really take a look at this one line item, even though this occurred at 12 o'clock, you know, modeling this particular move right here, this also was triggering early. And if you look at some of the metrics, um, relative volume, 12 times normal volume, cumulative to this point in time during the day. So again, it's a real powerful um, filter and column data point that we have. And at the same time, you can see that it's uh, coupled with this volume one minute is over 2,000, the volume five minute is over 500. And everything coming through this window is going to have those very same characteristics. And that's really the, the simplistic level on how to create a strategy. It's a combination of an alert and one or more filters. And the filters are really narrowing the universe of stocks that can possibly meet that criteria. And the trigger is, or the alert rather, is just the trigger event that's causing it to go to the window uh, at that particular time. So um, strategy creation is one of the more interesting things that we do at Trade Ideas. And it's also something that we help you with, or we like to help you with. If you have an idea of how to get, you know, how to configure something, you can always do what this gentleman did earlier today is shoot me that screenshot and, you know, ask me how to get that to appear in a window. And uh, one of the great things that we do is we have this cloud feature that allows me to create it. So I could create this window. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll pop it into uh, the GoToMeeting chat right now. But let me just save this new high on huge volume. It's a single window. It's all contained in this one cloud link right here. So I'm going to copy it and see if I can paste it in the window here. So now this should be, hopefully you can copy this out. We'll include it in the, uh, in the email follow-up to everybody that registered today. But uh, this link right here, uh, the way you load it is go to the toolbar, go to file, load from cloud. It's already in my clipboard, so it automatically pasted right here. But this is where you would paste the link and select load. It'll load the window exactly how I have it configured here. So I also want to show you one more thing before I, I go back to Dan, because he wants to show you something too. But um, I want to show you one of the latest features that we have in the software. If you go to the website and download our beta version that's available uh, to download, I think it's version 169. Uh, it has a, a little bit of functionality that we've been waiting a while for. It's, um, if you go to the options uh, choice from the tools area here on the main menu, and you go to layouts, we have this option here called uh, open relative to main window. For a lot of multi-monitor uh, users of our software, they were really initially confined uh, with respect to the channel bar to have this thing open all of its windows on the primary monitor. Uh, but now you can, act, you can have it open on any monitor that you want just by moving, well, making sure that option is selected in the options. But once it is, you just move your toolbar to the monitor that you want. Uh, and then when you select a channel, everything will load up on that particular monitor. Um, I think uh, I could probably show it this way. So if I bring it down a little bit and I select the pre-market channel, yeah, it's not working on, on this particular meeting here. Let me see if one second. Yeah, let me select it here. So let's hit save. Now I'm going to move this down a little bit over here and let's load the surge channel. And then everything uh, from that channel will open relative to the toolbar. These are some of the other windows that I had pinned for the purpose of the demonstration. But that's a great feature for the multi-monitor users that want to move it off their primary onto another, uh, another monitor. So please note that that's available in the, uh, in the beta version of it. So Dan, I know you wanted to talk a little bit about custom filters and uh, some of the great things that we can do with that. Let me... Uh, Absolutely. Let me throw um, it back Brad, over let me, to uh, you. Yes, please do. And we'll come back to that slide. Let's see here. It's all yours, Dan. Okay, let me, please, everybody type in um, the question and answer if you can see my screen. I just want to make sure, again, um, that you see it. Okay, fantastic. So, you know, Brad and I, and by the way, um, our charts, I'm going to mention something. I had a lot of questions, you know, and uh, while Brad was talking, and, and um, actually, I just realized something. We're, Scott, we're going to have you come in to talk about the promotions before I jump into all of this, but I'll, I'm going to 
put them up on my screen. But you know, we have a lot of exciting stuff happening at Trade Ideas, and one of the reasons why it's exciting to talk to all of you guys about it is we're just we aren't a marketing firm specifically. I'll think, although I think we've gotten a lot better at um, making people understand what we do and who we are. But we're a technology firm, and one of the things that we pride ourselves is innovation, and hopefully a lot of you are already seeing that. But we are really now moving at breakneck pace. And um, if you notice here on my screen, there's some empty space. This empty space is where my charts used to be, but the charts are in now fully functional dull mode as they become part of the actual platform. So I don't have them anymore. They've been taken away as they become now being built in. So we are very, very close to releasing our charts. And one of the things that we try to tell everybody is that for those that are interacting with us, and, um, and that, make, that means you people, if you are a buyer of trade ideas before something happens, you get grandfathered into things. Because again, we appreciate the first mover advantage. So if you take advantage of any of the promotions that we are, Scott's going to talk about today, remember that through that you're going to get access to a grandfather price and an increase in functionality with no increase to you. So Scott, I'm going to jump in here with the presentation and uh, put it on, let me see here, I believe it's slide nine and jump into presentation mode, okay? Yeah, actually, um, what, what I'd like to explain with this slide is how our pricing works. This is more for the benefit of um, the 30% of you that are not currently subscribers or possibly for those of you that are subscribers that would like to be on um, a more advantageous plan. So our current pricing structure, we have a, a starter month that is just a straight month with no uh, recurring charges, and that's $99. Our monthly recurring is $75 per month. We have an Advantage Player program, uh, which starts with a $236 payment for the first month, but then it renews at only $43 a month every month ongoing after that. So after a total year has passed, the Advantage Player ends up being cheaper than even the annual plan. Our annual plan is $628 per year. We also have a quarter available that is non-recurring, just three months, of course. The Odds Maker, uh, which you've seen and you'll see some more of, uh, is our back testing module, and that's a one-time $1,100 licensing fee, and it's a lifetime license. Uh, we also can we also create custom strategies uh, that fit your trading style and your um, your trading style, your risk tolerance, and uh, also fits current market conditions. And those are 250 per. Um, now, Dan, if you could slide to the next one, slide 10. So thank you. So here's an easy way to see how uh, the different plans uh, pricing can save you money. So the $75 a month plan is actually the best deal if you're going to be with us for under six months. But those of you with us for a year or more should be on the annual plan or advantage player. Uh, once you get up to two years, the advantage player is the um, best deal we have going there right now for a standard subscription. Um, as Dan mentioned, our rates are going to be increasing when we launch our charts in the optimized AI channel. Most likely our standard plan will go from $75 a month to $99 a month, and the other options will increase accordingly. Uh, I'll let Dan get back to his presentation now, but then I'll hop on at the end uh, with a promotion code as a thank you to those of you that have attended that will save you 30% or more depending on what you decide to pick up and a package deal that is our absolute best offer uh, that is a really good choice for those of you who are currently with us on the $75 a month plan uh, or even um, a quarterly uh, plan to get into a, a great uh, offer and get the odds maker as well. Thanks, Dan. Scott, fantastic. Uh, thank you, first of all, for letting Brad and I take a little break and showing everybody the, the plans. Oops, let me move that out of the way. Okay, so um, now we're back on my screen, and I'm going to just make sure I didn't lose my spot with Scott's presentation. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so super excited um, because we're going to show you something of value and also tell you a little bit of a story, okay? So my part of this presentation is, you know, about how do you really make money? 
you know, what is it that we're doing? Brad kind of showed you that we are able to give you information however you want to see it. I mean, there's so many different ways to look at trade ideas data. Here I'm looking at the social media stream one way. I have a window that's pinned to my right because any window that I want, I can pin it. So then I can serve to see, well, who are the winners? And I do this all the time. I'm kind of just surfing to see what's interesting, what's going on today, and how is it, you know, relative to like, you know, the way everybody's watching. So there's VLTC, you know, and Carl Icahn, and it's, it's this thing, this thing's been on since the beginning of the year. I'm constantly going back and forth and back and forth. So I'm like channel surfing. But obviously, that's just for my discretionary stuff. At, at the end of the day, most of my trades are placed statistically through using our odds maker technology to help me identify which way to make a trend or a trade rather. So I'm going to show you something. I have created a strategy today that I sent to almost everybody in our um, chat room who wanted it. This is a specific strategy that will be available to anyone who purchases the odds maker. And I made it today and I'm going to explain what, what about it is interesting and I'm going to also show what happens when you don't use AI. And I'm going to show it in a really, hopefully, good example. So one more trick. Any window with trade ideas that you have, it's kind of cool because if you want to do something with it, you don't have to change it. You can just right click what you have and click duplicate and the window pops up and now I have an exact copy so the one my original I don't have to mess with so while I do my magic trick I'm gonna pull it on over here and all I'm doing is I'm taking the automated the the AI out of this strategy and just showing you kind of what does the computer start with what does a base look like um, so hold on one second. Here we go. So I just like Brad. This is my base. You're catching this run early. Get him on. So like Brad, I was just interested in stuff that started to make a move, but I wanted the move to be happening before everybody was in on it. So I thought to myself, well, what does that mean? Okay. So I went to configure, and again, using my imagination, like I said, I'm not speaking to myself, because I'm, I gotta tell you guys a secret. Unfortunately, it's a secret that Brad and um, Scott already know, so it's not that secret. I'm not that good in math. You know, I've got a really, I've got a feel for numbers, which is not exactly the same thing, but um, I actually don't even write our own formulas. Brad helps me with that, and Barry, Einerson, who is also the champion of the trade ideas community, is much smarter than I am, an engineer, and he also writes formulas. So um, I could help a lot, but I think just in terms of big concepts. So a simple concept is here's a stock that's running up. You know, we have an alert for that. And what I want to do is, well, I want to see it before everything gets started, right? So what does that mean? Well, we have this thing called the relative volume. It's one of our filters, it's one of our most powerful filters that uh, takes a stock and looks at it and says, well, what does this stock normally trade at any given point in time during the day and for any given time frame? So we know, we know what's normal at 9.01 Eastern, 9.02, 9.03, between 9.01 and 9.08, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We, use, we know. So when I put a 0.6 maximum here, okay, and we have this uh, hourglass, which is another incredible educational tool inside trade ideas that is often ignored by, by everybody. But it basically tells you, well, first of all, in words, what does this mean? Well, it means show me stocks where the current volume is no more than 0.6 of its normal volume at this time. Whereas if I would say maximum of one, the volume is no more than one, meaning it would be no more than normal. But here I'm saying 0.6, or in other words, 40% off of normal. Okay, so it hasn't, so it's starting to move, 
but not on a lot of volume, very, very high level. So I hit OK, OK, now I have the window, I can look at it, right click, history, I can look at today, just kind of see, well, what kind of flow am I going to be getting? Pretty active, as I would expect. And again, notice, I mean, trade ideas, a ton of information. There's no way you could process all of this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to task myself to learn how to trade this pattern. And I'm going to say, okay, well, how am I starting if I want to hold it when I get into it? But, and I'm on the West Coast, that's why you're seeing uh, 11 a.m. And I want to get out kind of before the last two hours. That's my hypothesis. So I'm going to say simulate buy. And here we go. Notice 4,000 trades, 6,000 trades, 8,000 trades, 10,000 trades. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we sell very many odds makers because when people realize what we're doing here, they kind of start, their eyes start to open up and they start to understand, well, wait a minute, I must have not been approaching this, you know, the way that I thought I was approaching it before. So what we found out is that this event, that um, this movement up on low volume, uh, between uh, the last three months, I believe that's the time period that I'm testing right now, has happened more than 25,000 times. So I am uh, learning, you know, by going through a process of 25, well, over 25,000 trades. And here's what I'm going to find out. Hopefully soon. There we go. I mean, this is a lot of data, guys, just, just so you know. And um, this data, and we've conveyed this information before, by the way. Um, this, so people ask, the, the, uh, there's Michael D., that's a great question that you ask, and Brad and I will get into it in the Q&A about the odds maker when we get there, but I'll answer it. It's germane to what we're talking about. So I just crunched 28,896 trades. Okay, and by the way, this is not available even to regular odds maker subscribers because it's just too much uh, of a processing uh, pull. It's just an incredible amount of data to chew through. Um, but this is what it looks like. Come on, where are you going? Okay, here we go. Calendar. I'm just moving again. It's so much stuff that. Uh, but it's hard for it to even move around. So hold on one second. Okay, so this is a calendar and it shows you, you know, what's going on on these days and just a huge amount of information. But the bottom line is that look how efficient the market is. Out of a sample of almost 30,000 trades, your average winner and your average loser are approximately in step with one another and your success rate is below 50%. So that means that something is missing. Your idea does not, that doesn't mean that it's bad, but that means that you can't just throw a dart at that idea. And, and what I'm asking myself is, well, what would it take for me to learn this? And the computer is saying, Daniel, it would take for you to go through about 30,000 trades, because that's how many times this pattern has happened, and figure if there uh, is or isn't uh, an opportunity here, okay? So I did that through the use of our AI, the tool that's gonna be powering the AI channel and the other reason why you wanna own the odds maker, okay? For everybody who owns the odds maker gets free access to the AI channel. So I'm gonna move this over here, okay? And this is the strategy and the people that, um, that are already uh, odds maker customers and, and the people that were in the chat room today with Barry. I presented this to everybody, so many of you have it. Those that will subscribe today, we will give this to you, of course. I mean, we do that. Um, I run the odds maker, same exact information, at a dollar stop, simulate buy. Now, when we ask the computer to do this, okay, 
remember, we understand math too. We're trying not to fool ourselves. So there's a lot of like in sample and out of sample stuff that's happening to create this. Okay. And, uh, and the secret sauce is that behind the scenes, we're asking our computer to go through this tab. And this tab is available to everybody, the optimization tab and work through all of these combinations of different filters that we possibly could have, which is very many, and find what combination of various uh, filter settings, and it could be millions of them that it goes through, can produce a strategy, which is ultimately what we are looking for, that has a decent amount of trade so that, again, you don't necessarily have to auto-trade this. That's not what it's about. It's about gaining a statistical advantage in terms of having expectations of what's going to happen. So you can at least say that hopefully if this pattern continues tomorrow, the odds of you winning will be roughly 70% if once I run today's data for this strategy, because right now it's yesterday's, and yesterday it had one trade, but that was in sample. So today um, is the out of sample trade, and I think that was a very, very tiny winner like four cents CISG. So again, you would at least that was a one for one, so one. And the idea is that we would expect these results, and you would then you know trade accordingly based on you know what kind of capital you have and commissions and so on and so forth. You can take this information and you can dive into it more. People were asking in the Q and A session, well, how do I know you know what I'm getting? And so you can see what trades went through, the timestamp, the entry price, the exit price, what shares. Now, of course, you can modify all this and everything changes. So let's say you're a guy that trades 200 shares. Okay. That's what it would look like. I mean, notice how we have three graphs. This is in fantasy world. In other words, this is just pure math. Okay. But here we subtract the commissions and the spread. So this is your real expectation. You know, uh, so that's that's one of the things that makes us unique is we create an environment where you can really kind of factor in what works for you. Okay, well maybe in this case, and by the way, again, you don't have to take every one of these trades. So it's just a hypothesis saying that if that's what you were doing, you know, consistently, this is where you would be with 15s. So that means if you're going to be trading this actively, 15s is just not the kind of commission that that would work for. But fives, no problem. Okay. Um, for everybody that wants a copy of this strategy, if you have access to the odds maker, if you are an odds maker purchaser, either previously or through today, we will pass this strategy to you. Okay, um, and again, and that's what we do. We are constantly in the search for strategies, and we do this with our AI. and And this is what we're really trying to dial into to show people how we approach the problem and how we solve it with the odds maker. And again, that there's just so many ways to view the data. You can kind of visually see well, how's your PNL looking. And remember too that we lose. Okay, this is the thing that should give you comfort a little bit in this system because. If somebody was giving you a strategy that had absolutely no losing days or won, well, then you knew that something was wrong because it's just not a, um, there, there's just not a, another way to do it. And again, how does it go against the buying power? What's the worst drawdown? So that you can quickly assess if this is a strategy that could work for you. Okay, so that led us to um, something really, really important. Okay, and I'm going to tell you a story, and I think the gentleman that this story is about is probably in this room. Um, but a customer of ours recently purchased the odds maker, and he's very excited about um, working with it for a good reason. It's the best tech on the market for figuring out what works and what to trade. But as you can understand, the odds maker isn't a silver bullet and it's not going to uh, 
solve all of your problems. Just because you know the odds on something does not necessarily mean that it has to magically come true at the next trade. So you still there's still a lot of you know risk and uh, uncertainty involved in anything you do that's speculative, like investing, trading, but of course also driving a car. So the gentleman and I were talking and he sent me an example of a stock that he uh, purchased and he was basically showing me, oh, here's what I'm doing, um, I'm going to purchase this stock. He showed it to me and then he also quickly showed me that he got out of the stock um, when it went against his stop loss. But as soon as he showed me the stop loss, that's when my alarms went off because the stop loss compared to the stock just looked like it wasn't right to me based on my own expertise as a trader. And uh, I actually called the gentleman right away and I said, because I knew him because he had recently purchased the odds maker. And by the way, again, not that I take phone calls on the CEO and I like doing this stuff, but when I see something that I just have to react to, I react. And uh, what I did was I kind of told him, gave him a different perspective on how to do stop losses. And we talked. And when I hung up the phone with him, I instantly called Brad. And I was like, Brad, you know what? I think we have to do this for everybody. You know, I think his questions are really the more important question because the question is this. So you get into a trade because you trust trade ideas analytics. Awesome. But how do you manage it? How do you um, know what it is that um, makes the most sense in terms of when to get out? Which is when to get out is probably 90% versus when to get in is only 10. Because again, the, the where to get in part, you know, you're gonna you're gonna have a lot a lot of stuff affects that. But the strategy of managing yourself in the trade is really the foundation upon which your success has to be built because you can uh, snatch defeat out of the jaws of victory and I've seen that done by myself in all sorts of different ways but to many traders as well. The biggest mistakes are usually made post-trade not pre-trade. Okay, So Brad and I got to talking um, and what we came up with is that we were again just so humbled by the fact that our technology of trade ideas already had this capability, somebody just had to bring it to our attention and that's what uh, uh, Brad and I did. And so what we came up with, and this is what I'm going to show you, um, is a new field. So I'm going to go to configure and I'm going to go to search and I'm going to search for this word called uh, stop, I can't spell. Okay, and it's called stop them up. And I'm going to say show column. Then when I go to the column, oops, column order, I'm going to bring this on top. So we created this number called the stop amount, and we used it using our own custom data. And this now is where I'm going to get Mr. Brad Williams to jump back in and talk a little bit about how incredibly powerful our formula editor is, but also at the same time that this stop amount formula is available to you already, to everybody who's a customer. It's nothing magic. We're going to show you how you can basically cut and paste it. So Brad, do you mind taking over and uh, being the smart one again? <laughs> You're the best. Yeah, let me... Uh... Let me pop over to my screen here real quick. All right, so uh, the, you know the, the custom formula editor is super powerful, but it's it, it's also important to know uh, its limitations. Uh, so it, its power revolves around the fact that you can take any data point uh, that we offer inside of Trade Ideas, and we also provide probably about thirty other additional data points. But you can take any of these variables and manipulate this data mathematically. And this is an example here that Dan's showing, uh, which is our stop amount, which is just really taking uh, the formula is taking the last price of the stock and it's multiplying it by a half a percent uh, and then multiplying it by the relative volume of the day and then, add, then adding its average 15 minute 
uh, volatility, you know, how much that stock on average moves over the course of a 15-minute period of time. And, you know, through the use of uh, these different variables, there's a lot of different things that you can do. And, in fact, it, we have the ability to put in some logic in here as well. You can create if-then statements and, you know, just all kinds of uh, stuff to, to do. And we have a variety of different examples on our blog. Um, and, I, and I've even done, a, I think, an entire webinar. Uh, I know Barry's done some webinars on uh, the use of these custom filters. Uh, but yeah, this is a, an example of it. And to get there, let me just show everybody how you can get there. You just go to our website. Uh, it definitely is something that, where you're going to want to be logged in, but you'll find it over in the support section. And it's in the formula editor. Uh, so the formula editor here, these are just some examples that I have in, in one of my accounts. Uh, so you can see really how sophisticated they can get or really how simple they can be. Um, something where we're looking for a percentage from its 52-week high or whether the open is greater than the 52-week high using some logic. Uh, and, you know, all of this can be found. So if I was to kind of correlate it and bring it back into my software here, I could just open up any alert or top list window. And if I um, here's a, a top list window, and if I go into search and I move down towards the bottom here, you're going to see all of these different um, custom filters that I put together. So if I type in something like, you know, 52 week high, you're going to see here these different 52 week high filters that I've created that really give me a lot more flexibility, not only in creating a strategy through the use of its uh, filter, you know, if I add this 52 week high, well, let me do this one, opened above the 52 week high, I can add it, uh, I can go ahead and create a minimum and max value just like every one of our other filters or I could go back and I could just add it as a column for a data view. So, you know, different uses for the filter uh, for this custom formula or custom filter as a lot of people call them. But let me just scroll down real quick and um, I don't want to take, we're going to keep this to an hour here today. So, you know, being mindful of time, you know, just looking here, this is the description of what it is. And uh, these are just all some of the different things that you can do. And there's great documentation from, let me see how you can get there. If you go all the way to the bottom of the page and you select the help uh, choice here, here's the documentation on how you can use it. Uh, also, if you go to our blog, uh, not our blog, our forum, uh, there's a whole section. If you scroll down here, uh, on using the formula editor. So, how's that, Dan, for filling that in? I think we should, um, I don't know if they're used the last time here, look and see if there's some unanswered questions and also... Well, Robert, I, I still have one more thing I'm going to show, Brad. So let me, okay. Brad, why don't you put me as the presenter, because this is, again, uh, the really... You got it. ...kind of the, showing the use case, and I, I think that's what I really wanted to do here. Um, so, hold on one second. It is back to you. Yep. Do people see my screen or not? Screen. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, guys, what Brad was showing you about our stop amount is that any stock you get into, let's say it's VLTC, at the time you get into it, it is going to tell you what the stop amount should be based on the time you just got into it. And next time you look it up, depending on what it did, it'll change because, again, of the formula that we did. But this is our interpretation of the most logical assessment of what the stop should be. Brad, can we just quickly describe the inputs just so at the very high level? You know, it's we use our volume-weighted volatility. We yeah, multiply. So, go ahead. Well, we're, we're doing this. We're taking the last price of the stock and we're multiplying that by a half a percent. And we're taking that value and we're multiplying it by our relative volume. So that's a multiple. The relative volume, if it's one, that's normal volume. If it's two, it's two times. So we're now multiplying it by that. And then we're taking that entire value and we're adding uh, our volatility, the average 15-minute movement of that stock. Right. And, and that's where you get this number. You know, it, it, it takes all of that into effect. And what we love about it, too, is, okay, so you have a window like this. And now let's say, let's pretend for example that this is my window for the odds maker strategy that I just purchased, which is this one. So I'm going to go to configure and I'm going to go to columns 
and I'm going to see if it's already down there. Yeah, stop amount, and I'm going to add it, and I'm going to go OK. So I'm going to switch to text headers so you can see what you know what it's supposed to be. So here, when I uh, we had the signal for CISG today at 783, and my stop would have been six cents at that time that I got in based on uh, the automaker. But let's take a look at history and see what's going on. Okay. So these were the trades that, um, that this strategy had, the one that I just showed you, you know, when, when we went to the run the odds maker and did this whole beautiful stuff. Okay. So for every one of these trades, we, I mean, we, again, you can see the successes and, and all that good stuff, but when they were happening in real time, here is your risk management because again the odds maker isn't necessarily supposed to be super robo automated you know trade everything mechanically while you're playing golf that never leads to good things what it is is here's the next trade here are the odds you still have some of your own input you know you can still make decisions that affect your trade and and we just gave you an addition that can help you in any single environment whether you're using odds maker or not using odds maker now, you know the difference that when you get into KTPI, which is a $26.4 stock, based on its behavior today, this is your risk. Okay? And that lets you translate that into shares. So you know, like, okay, if I don't want to risk, you know, let's call it whatever, 150 bucks, I could be in 500 shares of this. So and the beauty is that, that this is just one interpretation of the formula. You take a guy like Barry, um, who's, again, much smarter than I am, and you can make this much more sophisticated even in doing other things like volatility and getting more creative with, with VWAP. But my point is here, we gave you already a solution, and this solution was based on real-life customer interaction for, uh, for, for what to do. So this this to me is one of the most important things. It's as important as the idea itself, is how do you manage it? This is your Tiptronic. This is your Google navigation, your Tesla robo parking machine. Notice it's custom for every single stock because of the price at the time and all the custom variables, okay? Um, so let me answer a couple of questions um, as I see them, and then we'll wrap up with um, Scott giving you a, a summary of uh, the the offers. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me, where is this stop? Can it be used in, uh, in the odds maker? And I'm saying to everybody, guys, Brad and I invented this about an hour before uh, this presentation. That's what's cool about you guys being on this uh, webinar. And, working with us. This is how our company works. We push technology out that fast. So before we can add it to our database where it can be collected and analyzed and run through the odds maker, we first would probably need to tell development that we have it because they don't know yet. We just invented this for ourselves. Um, so, we, so right now it's just a column. We will add it as a filter um, and we will move from there to actually add it as an odds maker component. But what, but what it can be already, and this is what I love about this, is this will be a part of the AI channel okay, that we're bringing to market that's going to be powered by the odds maker. And again, kind of like this, this is the example of it. Okay? And I already added the amounts so that you can kind of see. So here's the, an, an AI channel. And again, this is just a prototype concept. And this is how much you would need to give up uh, for a stop. Now here's what's awesome, okay? Not only does this help you manage the trade, right? But guess what else this, uh, I mean I'm pointing at this so specifically because this is the critical part. It also tells you which trades you don't need to get into. So AMBA was so volatile, okay, that if you were trading a hundred share of odds, your stop amount would have to, you'd have to give it four points. Two, 
again, manage it appropriately. That's how much volatility was built in. And if you were not, you were not playing the proper blackjack strategy according to Matt. Okay, HRTX, you have to give it 166. Okay, and right away when you see this stuff, then you realize what you can and cannot stomach. That's the advantage. Okay. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to turn it back over to Scott, and uh, he will tell you all of the promotions and summaries and everything else. And uh, so stoked to have you guys here and give us your time. We really do um, appreciate it. Hey, thanks, Dan. Hey, can you do me a favor and switch to slide uh, 12? Um, sure. A little bit earlier, I kind of explained to you all. Uh, make it the next one, yeah. I explained to you all how uh, our pricing structures currently currently works, and I want to extend this uh, product code to everyone who's at the webinar. Uh, whether or not you're a current subscriber, it can also get you 40% off the lifetime odds maker license. So if you use the code QAWEB3, all caps on checkout, you can grab the odds maker for only 660, and that's a lifetime license. You can uh, start an advantage player program for only 165.20 for the first payment rather than 236. You can get in for a year for only 439.60. And that's a, you know, that's 30% off of what's already 30% savings on the year at 628. Or you can try the, the monthly for uh, 52.50 for the first month. It will renew at 75 a month, but it lets you get in and get the training. The, our one-on-one -on -one hour power training is included with the standard monthly package as well. So this code, the QA Web 3, and all of you will get an email with it as well, expires Friday at the end of business. Uh, so if you do want to use it, uh, go ahead and use that code before uh, end of business on Friday. Um, for those of you who are already uh, existing Trade Ideas subscribers or who already know that you see the value in Trade Ideas, uh, can get in on our best package deal that we're offering. Uh, Dan, if you can go to the next slide on number page 13. Um, that is our... 899 saver deal uh, and that's a package that includes a full year of trade ideas uh, the lifetime odds maker uh, license and an optimized strategy created just for you uh, which we charge uh, 254 uh, on a um, a la carte basis uh, so to get all of this for only 899 um, which comes out to be under three dollars a day it's uh, basically the price of a couple Starbucks coffee every day you need to go to that bit.ly link that will take you directly to the package page uh, where you can click through to buy it and that's bit.ly slash 899 saver and uh, enter it just like it appears on the screen there and that'll take you right to a page where you can purchase this package deal if you're upgrading from an existing subscription go ahead and get this deal and then shoot us an email to let us know that you're changing from your $75 a month plan to the um, to the yearly and getting the 899 package and uh, we'll go ahead and make sure that that renewing subscription uh, standard subscription is turned off so you don't ever get double billed um, basically thanks thanks everyone for spending your time with us that's why we offer these packages and the uh, product code uh, at the end of our Scott, webinars one, Scott one quick thing and again just a quick reiteration of the fact that these offers that Scott is, t is talking about the 899 saver and all the other ones, they give you grandfather status to the things that are bring, bring, we're bringing to market very shortly. Yep, that's right. And our AI channel. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I did see some questions like that in the uh, in the questions panel, wondering if if you're already in at seventy five dollars a month, if the price is going to increase to ninety nine when we release the charts. And and the answer is no. Once you're in at the rate that you're in. Uh, you maintain that rate for as long as you're, you keep that account active at Trade Ideas. If, if you leave for, I think it's up to three months, we let you back in at the same rate. If you've gone for longer than three months and you come back in, you'll come back in at the elevated rate. Uh, that's you know just how the, the pricing works. So again, uh, to save the 30%, uh, use the product code QAWEB3. You'll get that in your email after the webinar. Uh, as well as the link to the 899 package deal that's uh, basically a couple Starbucks a day and, and you get uh, full access to the AI channel when that comes out to the charts and everything. Uh, you follow us on Facebook, uh, Trade Ideas Pro on Facebook, Dan is Trade Ideas One on Twitter. We also have Trade Ideas at Twitter. 
email any questions you have to info at tradeideas.com. That goes right into our help ticket software, and it'll be um, you get a reply very soon. Or you can give us a call um, if you need to reach out to us that way as well. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Um, Dan, anything else? Uh, any other questions? Oh, yes, Bill. Uh, the uh, yearly amount does say grandfathered if you continue to do that. And, yeah, um, the uh, annual will renew at the standard annual rate. Yes, Scott, I was going to say that probably the only confusion people ever have is, so what happens when you buy the $8.99 all-inclusive, all and what happens the next year? And it's good to explain that the odds maker you, you get for life, and yeah. how it, you know, the resubscriptions work. Yeah, the, the package includes the odds maker. Uh, that's a lifetime subscription, and your yearly will renew at the 628 rate. Yeah, so this is this you're going to get the 628, and th this is why this is such a good deal. Um, so we hope if you get a chance, you take advantage. And again, we love to hear from you, and uh, we interact with our customers all the time. We're here to help everybody, and again, because we're in the game, uh, we keep pushing the envelope on innovation like this stop loss amount, and you guys just saw it as it happened. So. Thank you very much for coming, and thank you, Scott and Brad, and we will see you soon. Yeah, thanks, y'all. Bye.